What is the input-output transactions table and what does it do? India has committed to reducing its greenhouse gas emissions and set a net zero target of 2070. What would be the best way for India to evaluate the effectiveness of proposed policy tools to achieve these climate change mitigation goals, which ensures a reduction in emissions and addresses the needs of a developing economy? The input-output transactions table is one of the key tools in addressing such questions. This table shows the monetary interdependencies of sectors in an economy. The output of one sector becomes the input of another sector and can be extended to include information on sectoral energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions production. This extension is referred to as the environmentally extended input-output table. An advantage of this table is that it provides information on how each sector is linked to another in monetary, energy and emissions terms. So, what is an example of a climate change mitigation policy measure that can be evaluated using the EEIO? Using this table, we can simulate the impacts of policy measures both on the GDP and the total greenhouse gas emissions from the burning of fossil fuels, including coal and petroleum products. For example, we can compute the impacts of replacing petrol-based internal combustion engine vehicles with electric vehicles on emissions. Our computation showed that by switching 50,000 internal combustion engine vehicles in India with electric vehicles of a similar type, the pollution savings would be equivalent to 0.003% of total fossil fuel emissions in the country. To read the full study, visit our website at www.csep.org.